Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair Blind. In the last one, we don't talk about what happened in the last one. That's that's my rule from now on. <laughs> in the last one, I decided I want to talk to Mihiru during free time events. There it should is that, is that good? I think that's good. I think that's a good answer. Um okay. Oh, Gundam's just hanging about. Uh Sharky's over there, Sonya and Pekka are over there, Mikon's over there. Uh, apparently no one's over here, but it is important. Uh, Kazuichi's over there, Nakamaru, Akane, and Ibuki are over there! I think I got everyone's names right, too. So, uh, that's good. Um, let's see, let's go... Well... I feel like we're supposed to take the islands this way around. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to press circle, because that's run. Do oh, Gundam! How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> You're too late. The seal has already been broken. Seal? Are you talking about the bridge? Whatever, it's not like I really care. Alright, Hajime. We need to get snappy now. We get plenty snappy at you for last episode. Diner? Parking? I, mean, I don't know who's driving here, but... Sure. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Okay, well, we're going right in. Diner. Huh? That looks like. Oh, hey. Oh, it's you. Dumbass. Trying to eat right now? Go away, dumbass. Maybe he suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand. Wait. Hold on, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant. Why does he know about the new island? I don't know, maybe Monomi told him? Okay, I, I can literally only examine those. Uh, but I do need to be... Actually, we do get a new thing every chapter for these, so I might as well. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. So someone must be monitoring us. There's no way they're watching us for our safety. Correct, Amundo. Well, maybe they were originally, because, like, uh... Us... Yeah, no, because I, I keep on mucking this up. Because, yeah, it's, it is Usami, but it's also Monami. But no, it was Usami at the time uh, who used these first, right? Or who was supposed to be using these. So, like... They probably were... I, I think, right? I don't think Monomi wants us to kill each other. One of the monitors Monokuma uses to contact us. Nothing's on the screen right now. And the only one who uses this is Monokuma. I don't think Monomi can use it. Uh, doesn't look like there's any more of the Monokumas in here. So what do you got for you, Hiko? Hey, why are you here? How do you find out we can... How'd you find out we can go to this island? Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating! <laughs> An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person. Then I found this place and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Is it Pekko? Because she seems to always be the one who's like... Yeah, I, I tried to get Fuyuhiko, but he wasn't having any of it. Like, she did that today, she did that with the party. I'm pretty sure she did that once before with a morning meeting. I guess she came and told him about this then. Like, hey, Pekko! I see your type. <laughs> Short. Blonde. Suit and tie. Baby face? Hey, I mean, whatever floats your boat. There's a motion in Pecos Ocean for this guy? Sure. <laughs> Mystery solved. You happy now? 
Let's get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying... Hey, about that annoying person. Huh? Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only ones stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too, so... Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. I just decided not to rely on anyone. Want to rely on anyone? That includes the Kuzuryu clan. You can still survive without relying on them. Man, that, that also came out really easy. Good! I like that! I like that that's rolling off my tongue now. Well, not really. I still kind of like... In the middle, but... Huh? Hey, you actually... Don't, misunderstand. don't get it twisted. My Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to head the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister will be happy to lead it. Oh. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut, the hell up. Shut up! Why are you let me bring that up anyway? You brought that up yourself. Anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. N nothing good can come of it? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Biakia and Teru Teru, are proof of that. Plus, be frustrating to be held by. Be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my turn to kill. You. You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Really now, even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful just for saying it. Eh, you're the one who spoke to me about my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? I would just, it was stupid of me to try to talk to a guy like him. Eh, well... You know. You're pissed off at me, you don't have to stick around. Get lost. Will do for you, Hiko. Will do. Okay, well, I can examine out here now. Uh, not much to look at, though. Uh, any Monokumas? Doesn't look like it. Oh, right. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I, I will say though, the music in this game is quite nice. It fits the open atmosphere, but you know, I, I, you know, I've, I've said my piece on this. I, I think Danganronpa One has achieved atmosphere much better, but this is like this does all fit together quite well. I will say, like it isn't like mumble, not mumbles, jumbled is the one I'm looking for. If we had like Danganronpa One music on the islands, it wouldn't work. The diner's signboard is spinning. Spinning restaurant signboard on, on an uninhabited island is kind of freaky. That is a bit weird, yeah. Also, are there just like seagulls hanging around here? Oh, wait, what was that? The beach? Chandler Beach. That was quite the scream. A scream? Voice just now. Wasn't that Ibuki? Oh god, thank god I didn't have to voice it, otherwise it would just be a weird... Wait, is that Monokuma? Nope, those are flowers. Ibuki! What's up? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! This is bad! <laughs> I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words! 
I can't believe I managed to read that. What's going on? <laughs> the killing. The killing started again. Huh? Look, over there. God, I need to just get this down. Because I kind of have this voice for Kane as well. Yeah, but Kane's become a bit deeper. No, I guess it is a bit different. So yeah, I can have like the, the Hina voice for Ibuki. Yeah, the deeper one for Akane. And then Peko can have the this one. The one that's like this, but it's got the slight accent on it. Whereas this one doesn't have the accent. It's mm, not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then Hiyoko can continue to have this one. Haha. <laughs> You know, you'd think I'd be really good at voicing children, considering how much of the Fire Emblem... Well, the Fire Emblem games that I have played, most of them have, like, actual babies in them. You'd think I'd be good at that. I'm not. <laughs> so I glance over to the beach where Ibuki was pointing her finger, and obviously being overly dramatic, we're literally in the first, like, hour of this chapter. Oh, hello. Oh my. Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. What the heck is this? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win against me? That's quite Heard enough! Have you learned your lesson? We're done for. <laughs> He's done it! Nekomaru Nidai's ultimate move, Super Buddy Blow! That's instant death! If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best! Akane, your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Huh? This isn't a fight. It's a one-sided beatdown. <laughs> That's even worse! The rules for the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. What violence? This is not a real fight, we're training! But it looked like a real fight. Nah, uh, I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Yeah, I mean, you've seen me, I'm a total wimp. You both agree to this training session. I'm not violating any rules. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? Ugh. I gotta admit it. Ah, she's alive! She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. You look pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but... I lost. More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? What a bunch of battle-loving troublemakers. Oh, God. Oh, these four... Well, no, Hajime isn't hard. He's my normal voice. These three are really hard on my vocal cords, though. Akane, seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all... it's all half-assed. You are not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics! Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second-rate if you just rely on instinct. D damn it. Shut up. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When that time comes, I will fight you once again. Eh, you better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up until I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style. How ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl. She's probably gonna get even stronger. Why was that voiced? 
What kind of conversation is this? Oh, hey, uh, Ibuki, you're looking real tall right now. Yeah, Nekomori really shined through there with his talent, eh? Team manager, man. I like that. I like getting to see them, because a lot of the time they have, like, abstract situational talents, you know? Like, it wasn't until Ultra Despair Girls when we were finding, like, books everywhere that we could really get a feel for, say, Toko's talent. Like, there was the that one time in Chapter 5, like, when she talks about what, like, who Fenrir is or whatever. Um, and Hero's like, whoa! Wait, that's, that's not the Hero voice. Whoa, dude! The ultimate writing prodigy's finally coming through, man! He said something like that. Um, like, you never really get to see Biakia use his talent, because <laughs> that it's not a talent you can use. Hina never shows off her talent. And that, like those are just some examples from the survivors. Obviously, Kyoko gets to use her talent all the time, and Makoto's is kind of handy. Um, and Hero, I mean, Hero's personality is quite tied to his talent, so you at least get that. But you don't really see him doing anything, you know. It was with Nekomaru here, we actually did get to see that. It was the same with uh, Toruteru last chapter, actually. We actually saw him use his talent. And I think, with the idea of talents, I think so far, already, this game has used the idea of talents a little bit better than Danganronpa 1. Because before, it was just like, you have this baseline, like, gimmick to the character, and then blah 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 blah! Nothing else really matters aside from their personality, like... Which is good, don't get me wrong, but it feels like it, it almost makes the Ultimates thing a little bit redundant. It, it's almost like it's an excuse to have, for example, Kyoko be really good at crime solving. Because it's like, well, she's the ultimate detective. It's not that she's just a smart teenager, it's like this is actually her job, you know? But yeah, no, in this game we've sort of already seen that come through. Uh, with Mihiru too, she's used her talent. Uh... It's like in Danganronpa 1, I can only really think of like Kyoko, arguably Toko, arguably Hiro, and like Rion using their talents. Chihiro too. Um, I guess, well, you don't really see Chihiro using his talent, but you know, Alter Ego is a product of his talent, so. I guess you also kind of get Hifumi with like the whole Robo Justice thing. Quite a few examples, but we've had almost that many in just chapter one of well, chapter one and the beginning of chapter two, with um this game. So that's that's promising. I like that. Oh yeah, no, we also had Nagito's talent come through last time. So yeah, we have had quite a lot. I'm trying to think of anyone else, if there's anyone else who's actually used their talent so far. Um Haven't used it, but we did actually, thanks to Mihiru, address Sonya's princess talent, like as a like as making her a candidate to be a leader, which isn't quite the same. But you, know, for one of those like princess is one of those talents that's very abstract, so to have it actually be like brought up and addressed is nice. I like I like that. This is a, probably a weird thing to talk about, but. Yeah, I, I do think that it, uh, to, to this game's immediate credit, they're using the idea of ultimates a lot better. Because, I mean, we, we didn't really have that problem with Ultra Despair Girls, because, like, it wasn't in this scenario. But the whole, like, Lil Ultimate things, like, it tied into some of their, like, their talent sort of tied into, like, their method of killing sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean just Jotaro, but, like, Masaru kind of had, like, that classic P kid energy. Um, I mean, I guess Kotoko's, like, acting talent was important for the sake of, like, pretending to not be, like, scared or, like, not be absolutely traumatized. Um... I guess, so, like, I, I guess that was important, but, like, social studies and homeroom are not real talents. 
Okay, social studies is fine, but Nagisa didn't use that at all. And yes, I mean, I get it, right? Like, Monica's homeroom talent was really just, ha, hey, get it? Because she's good at manipulating people. Or getting, she's good at getting people to do things. And that's obviously important, but like, really? Like, that, that's a lot worse than Kyoko's whole talent thing. Because Kyoko's talent thing isn't that bad. It's a nice plot twist, and it makes sense that that specifically would be removed. But whatever, we're not talking about this. Let's get back with the game. The more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? I don't know, that seems about right. How you doing, Nekomaru? You too. Basics are the foundation of everything. No, I get that, but training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible! Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager! Oh, yeah, actually, it probably would, so he's... Probably very good at, uh... Oh, hello. Probably very good at, uh, going easy. I see you over there. Ah, he's on rubber rings. He's out at sea. I like that. Level up! Huh? Are you serious? I am very serious, Monokuma. I like your surfboard. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I guess we go in here now. Doesn't look like there's anything else out here, so... Actually, that's quite curious. This is an area that we can just walk around in. That's kind of... They're, they're few and far between in this game. Like, the hotel, the uh, thingy area, the, 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 the cabin from last chapter. Because that, that, that's about it off the top of my head. So, and now we've got the beach, which is nice. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. Yeah, it looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity-style beach house. Ooh, a lot to look at, though. Uh, well, that's the door. I, we can look at the camera, sure. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. Uh, okay. I think we're just going to get the same one for this entire chapter, then. Uh, refrigerator. There's a lot of drinks here, like water and coffee. Most of these drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Uh, I don't know. Maybe? I mean, if they're just in the refrigerator. Trash can! There's a trash can, but I don't have anything I need to throw away. Uh, can I look at this? I could look at this. Bench. There's a fancy-looking bench. It looks like something you'd see at a resort. How nice. Uh, that is a big closet. Looks like this is the closet. Uh, the inside is... Looks like a small storage room. It's almost like a walk-in closet. The surfboards arranged on the shell on the shelf that we were too lazy to put in, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. Hey, you could always learn. I mean, we're gonna be here for a while. This door leads to the road by the tunnel. I guess for now I should look around here more. Oh, that's the uh the door when I first came into this area. Okay. Looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. Uh, I think that's everything then. Uh, I can't look at the chandelier, can I? Nah. Kazuichi! There you go. Talk to me. Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice. And the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Puts the beach out. Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome! Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones on this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Don't shatter my dreams like that. <laughs> More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? Awesome! Totally awesome! Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best! He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good qualities. <sighs> I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. No bikinis for you! Whoa! It's here! 
Why not? You trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, shameful peeking would be the worst thing ever. God, it is really, really hot in here for some reason. I'm sorry. You'll need to excuse me. I need to go outside and air my white button-up shirt. Ah, so you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself. Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. I'm never gonna let her down. I'm never gonna run around or desert her. <laughs> you might let her down, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. We actually got a... <laughs> Never gonna give you up reference in my Dangan Romper game. Have I been Rickrolled? Nah, yeah, not really. Oh, but I'm never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you, Miss Sonia. Anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine. Please focus on your studies, too. Yeah, uh, oh, if you didn't know my, uh, cover album, uh, only in Dangan Romper voices, coming out soon. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, that, I, that's a joke, but that, that does actually sound quite fun to do. Just, like, sing a bunch of dumb songs in, in voices. Well, not that Rick, Rick Astley has bad music or dumb music. Of course not, but, you know. Okay, oh, Monokuma put the gun down. Where, where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of them, no questions asked. Yeah, he's here. You, what are you holding? <laughs> a machine gun, obviously. I mean, we always have to bring in a machine gun during chapter two. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Yeah, it's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. You can control yourself. I have iron willpower, so I'll endure it. No matter the cost, until the day someone breaks the rules! Um, um, as you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Yeah, I'm not looking to get shot. Wow, that was totally bizarre. Man, they're really annoying. Yeah, I feel very tired all of a sudden. Wow. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Uh-huh. What? Well, it's about Nagito. Ah! I haven't seen that guy all day. Do you know where he is? Yeah, I don't know. Seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. So let's just end all the... Let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. You know the conversation very forcibly. Just as I thought, he's definitely hiding something. It's all right, Kazuichi. I I didn't didn't really. Ex oh, uh, hello. Came out this way. Didn't really expect anything incredible from his acting performance. He is no ultimate drama after all. Well, a little ultimate drama. Uh, yeah, Second Island. Moving on, that took a long- that took half an hour to get through. Uh, we are not gonna finish investigating this in one episode, I don't think. Drugstore! Yay, I love drugs! <laughs> oh, hello, I see you up there, Monokuma! I see you there. Whoop, got him. Oh, thanks, man. I could always use some encouragement in my life. There is not much to look at in here. But 
This is certainly Mekon's paradise. Wait, what the fuck is up with that bracket? <laughs> these shelves are crammed with a lot of stuff that looks like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look way more potent. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it is a, a drugstore. What's with you? Uh, I'm sorry. I got so excited I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before, people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Those are such sad choices. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to do her free time events too. She's... I need to know. I need to know why she's a poor broken girl. And I just... You want to see me can't smile, you know? You want to see this instead of her crying, you know? You know what? I'm actually really surprised we didn't get her in the fan service scene. That's kind of weird. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, why was Hiyoko in it? I mean, she wasn't even, like, exposed in any real way either. It was just, like, pure Mahiru. Hey, I mean, it's good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like no one's here either. Um, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. Oh, that sounds dangerous. When it comes to shots, I should definitely decline. Man, is that really it in here? <laughs> Would you like a shot already? Shot? Nope, seriously, I'm fine. I have enough energy. <laughs> Goodbye, Mikan. <laughs> I'm out of here. There's something funny about that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, actually, how much left of this island is there? And speaking of, speaking of, uh, walking, though. Pet, have you pooped? Little bit. There we go. Uh, let's see. How much left is there to look at? Uh, not too much, it doesn't look like. Oh, yeah, no, it is just this, uh, final area, the library that we have to look at, which actually means I should run right past it. And go to the area Chiaki's in, because that's not a mandatory area. And we want to get all the dialogue possible. Oh, she's over here. Really? There's nothing over here that's plot relevant? I mean, okay. Ancient ruin. Or just ruins. Ooh. What is this enormous building? It has the ambiance of an ancient ruin, but... Its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Kind of looks like a Minecraft ruin. Well, it's not really a ruin, is it? It's a temple. You know, the the uh, the mossy cobblestone ones. Oh well, like what I imagine you would make a big one out of. You know, I guess actually desert temples are a better uh, comparison. Hey, Chiaki. Uh, sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's with this huge building? It looks like some kind of ruins. Or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins. And that's what you think too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place. Oh. Only makes me want to play Minecraft. I'll check around here a bit more so you can go somewhere else. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Gee, she's completely doing her own thing. But her smile is so innocent. <laughs> it's even more annoying to deal with. You're alright, Hajime. I know, I know I'm not... Oh, wow, I'm actually getting kicked out. 
I know I haven't been the biggest Chiaki fan so much, or so far, but like, no need to call her annoying. Library. Hey, I see Monokuma up there too. So that's already three, I think. Yeah, I think that's already three Monokumas. Um, which was about the point that I got in chapter one as well. I only found three until we got the, uh, the old building opened up to us. Wow. That's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Uh, not too much to look at. Let's grab Monokuma up there. There are Monokuma busts in here. How lovely. Huh? I've been found. Yes, you have, Monokuma. Consider yourself found. Uh, so yeah. Oh, this is actually its own thing. Destroyed statue. The bronze statue of Monomi. I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's pretty sad. Those are such sad options, though. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, Monokuma, get fucked. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of books. A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. I, I never learned how to read! <laughs> Ardrame, can you not read? I wonder if they're in, like, uh, a lot of different languages or something. Or, like, they're not in language. The book's on this shelf. What language are they written in? Ah, there we go. If I don't know that, I don't feel like forcing myself to read them. Uh, yeah, okay, they're all in like a different language. Oh, another downed statue. Oh, no, same thing. Probably same thing with the Monokuma then. Uh, bookshelf? Hmm, what language are these books written in? French? Italian? I don't even know. I see, hmm. I see. Such an impressive description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The newest issue of Occult Magazine. It breaks the lid off of underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. <laughs> That's quite a surprise. You are wrong. It is not like I read it often. I am just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. It seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever? I feel like I've heard about her before. Her? You aren't supposed to know that! <laughs> I feel like I've already heard her say that before, but ah, uh, you, you gotta love the cat, like the... The tries to be cool character. Oh, sorry, my throat is really parched. I probably should have got a uh, drink between last episode and this one. I I, uh, I screamed a lot. <laughs> Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of her crimes. Apparently, she is a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. What is what a, is that a threat? Oh, actually, that's quite interesting. Um, because we know from Danganronpa One that that sort of information I don't think was sub, like public knowledge, was it? Um. Oh, God, I'm actually, uh... Because Byakia was like, Here, look at these archives. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff no commoners would know. Um... 
Oh, I don't exactly remember the, the exact details, but I, I think it was like this stuff. The fact that like <coughs> she's probably a high school or middle school student or whatever. Again, I'm pretty sure I didn't say... I, I'm pretty sure you aren't supposed to know what gender Genocide Jack is, but yeah, yeah it's whatever. Maybe maybe they should. I don't know. Um, but, but my point was that that seems to imply that Sonya is uh, pretty powerful as a princess for her to know that. Like, I mean, that makes sense. She's royalty. But that, that does put her on par with Byakuya in terms of, like, relevance in the world. Which is incredible for a country that doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, just putting that out there. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? Actually, I don't. Uh, is there a statistic on that? Uh -huh. This one in particular is... This one is a particular favourite of mine. Sparkling justice. Hey! I know sparkling justice. Kind of. I know the name. I, oh, cool. I guess this one. Oh, I, that sort of makes sense. Considering that someone actually like, said that to me. They didn't say it, but like, you know. Use it as like a reference or a joke or something. Now it makes sense that like I would actually they would actually be willing to tell me that because it, it it's just one of these little silly little uh, a silly little funny moment. <laughs> Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. <laughs> just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonia, calm down. Thanks to the mask Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. They couldn't look at their body type at all. Their mask covered their entire face. Have you ever played Majora's Mask? It's just like that. Complete transformation. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes! Hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please, hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers. Their value system is very difficult than... Difficult? Different than the norm. What a marvellous existence. God, we did get like this weird Sonya thing last... Well, not last episode. But in the trial, dif didn't we? Like, the... The Friday the 13th comment. Just like me. <laughs> Intrigued. Oh, she's adorable. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. It's weird to say that I was on fangirling over serial killers, because, like, on the internet, that is no bad. But, like, when they're fictional, it, it's absolutely adorable. It's also, like, the noises. <laughs> like, Okay, that sounded a little bit sexual. That's not what I meant. Okay, let's move on. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a t total bad boy type of situation? I don't know, maybe. Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. I mean, I, I, I guess so. Oh, whoops. Library's full of surprises. You even have underground occult magazines like this. Coming, co oh, okay. Genocide Jack, Sparkling Justice. Even their names are marvelous. It is truly intriguing. A princess obsessed with serial killers. What a home country think. I don't know, maybe they're into it too. I am a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean... 
Does the resort really need a library like this? That is very true, and just as expected, nobody's here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Hello, Monami is here. I'm reading a book. Uh, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Uh, I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Nuisance in life, nuisance in broken bronze statue, I guess. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. On a school trip? You're insane. Absolutely insane. You're a real dastard, you know that? <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. They're just... Dastards. <clears throat> so, I have prepared this library. Prepared? You? Yeah. Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't act like a teacher. I am a teacher! You... You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So, what's your real identity? What's your purpose? Mm, real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye! I'm running away as soon as things get inconvenient. It's even more suspicious. I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. According to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. Yeah, that would make sense, yeah. Hold on, did you just say this island's guidebook? Oh, I, uh, uh... I found it in this library. Would you like to take a look? Oh, where's the statue? What language is this? I have no clue. Then... then I shall read it on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. Jesus, I'm not even good at English. And you got 30? You got 29? Actually, no, because you speak Japanese. You've got... 30 languages under your belt! I mean, English is probably one you speak. English is a pretty uh, common language, but... You are 29 under your belt! 30 languages?! Does the royal family have a limit? Actually, that's an interesting question. I wonder what language Sonia speaks in um, her home country. Because it's in Europe, so uh, she's got a lot of regional options. Um... Actually, what is the most common language in Europe, I wonder? And I don't mean, like, who, like, the most people who speak it. I mean, like, the most countries that speak a certain language. Yeah, I wonder. Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being a paradise for, of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Biakia told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large, admin large administrative building. Huh? It is strange, no? That is strange. I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. Oh, is the administ administrative building supposed to be on the central island? Because it is definitely not. The only thing there is the park. And the only thing there is the ball thingy. That we saw at the end of uh, last chapter. Yeah. There's no sign of any buildings at all. The only things, the, 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 the only things there were Monokuma Rock and the park. Alright, Monokuma Rock is also there. I wonder if we're, it's supposed to be where Monokuma Rock is then. Also, according to this guidebook, it says there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building, which symbolizes the island. Oh. So then the building should have been in the park? Huh? Isn't that... 
Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beasts? But that statue was in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait. That is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh. While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effects on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then, what are we using to move between the islands? Well, they are definitely bridges. They're not going to be like optical illusions. There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Jemariah. Jim Palm Jemariah? Artificial island? Palm Jemariah is a huge artificial island and tourist site location in the, per in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. There's an artificial island in Japan, isn't there? I think there is. Or am I making that up? I, I think there is. That especially might be why we are the only ones on this island. Well, that's a good idea, actually, Sonia. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old, too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. My, my, you're very intuitive to assume that this is an artificial island. Now you're here. However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. Hmm, it's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Uh, who are you talking about? Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. I mean, if we're talking about large groups of horrible people, we're talking like ultimate despair? I mean, that might make sense, actually. Um, if they could build their own island or whatever. Hey, maybe it's a Toa thing. I don't know. Um, maybe they constructed their own artificial island and so not maybe not as like revenge but like to carry on Junko's legacy they'd like try to do her game again. Hey, who knows? Maybe Monica's gonna end up being the mastermind this time. And like Ultra Despair Girls was kind of like her backstory thing. Because, like, Junko, we don't really have a backstory on. At least not as of yet. It's just sort of, yeah, I got a bit upset and destroyed the world. So, like, maybe we'll have Monica be that again, but Ultra Despair Girl sort of flushed her out a bit more. So not flushed, fleshed her out a bit more. Um, yeah, no, like, uh, maybe the Ultimate Despair's, like, gathered together a bunch of, like, Ultimates and put them... On the island is sort of like, well, failed before, we'll do it this time. Da 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 da. We're gonna do it. Something like that. Hey, hold on a second. Before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It could it be? This island is completely artificial? There is no way that is true. There's no way. A guidebook, it's probably just old. You are right. That's right. It's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Ah, uh, Hajime. Oh, it's you, Chiaki. What happened? Well, um, I'm letting everyone else know, too. Can you come to the ancient ruins on this island right away? You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Okay, now it's important. But I guess uh, I'm not going to get to talk to Pekka, then. Oops. Based on our pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. And I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Oh no, Becco, I'm sorry. Hello? What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, However it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, it seems perhaps this is an artifact. An, an, an actual ancient ruin. What's going 
Oh, hey, I'm here. Are you back? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? School? Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Whoa, oh, wait, wait, what? There might be a resemblance. I mean, that makes no sense, because Hope's Peak's like smack bang in the middle of Japan. Well, not smack bang in the middle of Japan, as in like exactly geographically, but it's, it's surrounded by buildings. It is not on an island to Hope's Peak Academy. Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence that this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard. I'll fucking cut you if this... I'll fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. I didn't know you were also here. That bitch over there kept bugging me. So I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off this island? No, nothing like that. Aww. Aww, then who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mihiru more. Let me ask. You had plenty of time. <laughs> then, what in the world did you find? Chucky found something. I wonder what it is. Well, we're gonna find out in the next episode. Uh, I have a feeling we're probably gonna have quite a big scene. Which is why I'm ending it now. I mean, we could go over into an hour, but, you know, I, I do like to keep my episodes under an hour long if I can. Um, a couple of Ultra Despair Girls exceptions do apply. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Let's see what Chiaki has found in the next one. See you guys then.